Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. After the video on carnivores, I wanted to make a follow-up with the 10 largest sharks. And remember, I'm not an expert on these sharks, so there might be some mistakes in this video, but I researched very carefully to make sure there aren't any. If there are though, tell me in the comments. Also, the basis for the ranking on this video is the maximum weight of the shark and the maximum recorded weight to be specific, so it has to be officially recorded, or at least a scientist has to have verified it and given pretty exact measurements. Let's get into it. Sharks are often considered the public enemy number one when it comes to the oceans, and even though they are only like the number 15 reason for why people end up dying in the oceans, a shark attack sure is scary. A massive shark coming from below is too large to fight back, too fast to run away from, and basically the only way you can survive is by the shark deciding that it doesn't want to eat you, or you manage to convince it not to eat you. And in today's video I'm going to go over the main culprits and also where they are found. And first up, the bull shark is not on this list, it is not large enough to make it. So yeah, even though they are very dangerous to humans, that is only because those bull sharks are extremely aggressive, and they go to rivers, which means that they can attack more people than other sharks. And with that said, at number 10, the blunt nose 6 kill shark, weighing in at 590 kilograms and reaching over 6 meters. So we are already in the 6 meter territory at number 10. This shark is the largest member of its order, the hexancoid sharks. And as its name suggests, it has six pairs of gills, putting it in a more basal group of sharks. This group used to be extremely successful in the Mesozoic, but they fell off. Plant no six gills appear in all warmer oceans, and they are only absent from the Arctic and the Antarctic. They usually live on the bottom around the submerged continental shelves, meaning areas where continents are underwater but they are still there and during night they migrate towards the surface to feed. It seems that they are not aggressive towards humans despite their size, and there has only been one recorded attack ever since North America was discovered. So like the 1500s. Actually 1492. Their diet is made up of large bony and cartilaginous fish, and they mostly catch them by using short bursts of speed. The short fin Makos hawk comes in ninth place, with a maximum weight of 600 kilograms and a maximum length of about 6 meters again. Basically all of these sharks are at that length. <laughs> Larger than average saltwater crocodiles. This species is one of the fastest things in the ocean, and has the highest bite force out of any shark measured. And here's a picture of a Mako shark biting a dolphin cleanly in half. Shortfin Mako sharks are also believed to be the smartest out of all shark species. These close relatives of the great white shark might on the surface seem less impressive, but they have their own thing going on in spades. Their height performance is partially because they are endothermic, maintaining body temperatures higher than the water, making them very weird among fish. Shortfin Mako hunt similarly to the great white shark, swimming below their prey and then up launching at them at insane speeds, basically one-shotting their prey. Large individuals hunt porpoises, swordfish tuna and similar animals. Number 8, the goblin shark. These sharks are beyond weird, typical for deep sea creatures, and they reach a massive weight of 798 kilograms and over 5 meters long. These sharks like to spend their time near the bottom, once again on continental plates, giving them their odd distribution that you see on the map over there. They stick to the mesopelagic zone, rarely going closer than 200 meters from the surface, or deeper than a kilometer. Goblin sharks hunt like you would expect a nightmare like this to hunt, motionlessly floating towards their prey, and then shooting their jaws onto them, because of course they do that! Because of that I actually made a short about the goblin sharks before. If swordfin Mako sharks are the Olympic athletes, the goblin shark is an obese football fan with weak muscles, weak bones, short fins, and a soft body that eats the junk on the seafloor. 
It is likely that the long snout of the goblin shark is for sensing prey using electroreceptors, allowing the goblin shark to find targets even in the dark. Because only juvenile goblin sharks go in waters where humans can visit, they are almost completely isolated. We rarely catch them while fishing, and they have never attacked a human, at least not for certain. Except for like this one little guy that bit a diver, and also some like debated case in the 1850s where a guy fell overboard from a ship and got eaten by a mysterious large shark that was probably a goblin shark. But one thing is for certain, the goblin shark has never hurt a fly. Next up, the Pacific Sleeper Shark, weighing in at 888 kg and 4.4 meters long, but because they are really caught, it is possible that they grow even larger. These sharks live close to the bottom on continental shelves and similar underwater structures, and live a lot like their close relatives, the Greenland Shark. Actually, the only noticeable difference is that they live in different places. Pacific sleeper sharks are found in the freezing depths from northern Alaska to California and they are ambush predators. Targeting cephalopods and bony fishes by slowly floating towards them until they are in attack range. Large individuals seem to eat giant Pacific octopus very often. Pacific sleeper sharks can also come to the surface, but they are not considered dangerous to humans, mostly because they live in freezing waters. A lot like many other species on this list, Killer whales sometimes hunt them. Number 6. The Greenland shark weighing over a ton at 1025 kilograms. It is very similar to the Pacific sliver shark, but seems to be significantly longer because this absolute unit can reach up to 7 meters long. Famously, its meat is toxic to humans and smells like piss, but apparently the Icelandic people really enjoy it after removing the toxins by fermentation. It is often described as the most disgusting food in the world. <laughs> of course, the Greenland shark is also very impressive because of its age. They are the longest living vertebrates on the planet, reaching sexual maturity at 150 years old and living up to half a millennia. A Greenland shark reaching its sexual maturity today was born before the colonization of Africa. They are predators and scavengers, eating anything from cephalopods to deer. Basically anything that they can eat, they will. Even though the Greenland sharks would definitely eat humans if they had the chance, it has never happened before because the swimmer population in Greenland is surprisingly low. <laughs> Coming in at number 5, the Megamouth shark, weighing in at 1215 kilograms. Another deep water species of shark, only being discovered in 1976. It eats using filter feeding, basically AFK farming by swimming forward with its mouth open. Megamouths live in the mesopelagic zone, down to a kilometer and up to 200 meters, but come close to the surface during the night, following the planktonic migration. Humans very rarely see them because of their lifestyle and only 200 encounters have happened in history. History! Needless to say that is a pretty unknown shark right there. Number 4 the tiger shark, with the highest recorded weight of 1524 kilograms. They are the second largest predatory shark in the world. They have the widest diet out of any shark, and because of that they will sometimes attack humans. Just keep in mind that these attacks are extremely rare. Only 39 people have been killed by them since the records began. And for a reference, great white sharks are responsible for 59 fatalities and bull sharks are responsible for 26. Meanwhile, deer kill 100 people every year. Deer are statistically 100 times more dangerous than tiger sharks, technically. <laughs> Shark reputation is extremely undeserved. Of course you shouldn't go swimming in front of them, just letting them put you in their mouths, but the chances of them attacking a swimmer are pretty low. Tiger sharks hunt in shallow areas like coral reefs, estuaries and harbors, which is why they do sometimes also attack humans, so they are in the same places where humans go. 
unlike the other sharks I covered on this list that live in the deep ocean or in the freezing arctic. Tiger sharks are the apex predators in most places, but sometimes killer whales and other tiger sharks hunt them. And of course humans do fish for them as well. Number 3, the great white shark with a record confirmed weight of 2268 kilograms, with multiple unconfirmed reports of even larger sharks out there. With the great white it is very hard to say what their actual maximum size is, so I just needed to take like the most reputable and the largest claims that there were out there. The great white is the primary predator of most seals and dolphins and other porpoises, and thanks to extensive studies on their prehistoric ancestors, we know they began hunting mammals about 6.5 million years ago, as the serrations on their teeth became more pronounced. I made a sort about this yesterday. Great whites are also partially endothermic, allowing them to digest and move faster. With their body temperature dropping down to the surrounding water's temperature when they are resting. So they aren't true endotherms, they are just partially endothermic. They live around the globe on the coasts in waters between 12 and 24 Celsius, but they also travel through open oceans, often traveling through them in seasonal patterns. Once again, the only natural hunter of the Great White is the killer whale. When a great white was killed by a killer whale in Australia, all of the other great whites left the area for years. With one individual diving to 500 meters deep and swimming straight to Hawaii, it did not want any of the smoke, <laughs> like, that is the biggest I'm out of there I've ever heard in nature. Number 2. The Mysterious Basking Shark. It takes the silver metal at an estimated 16 tons. Very big jump. This record shark was too poggers to be weighed in 1851, but it was measured to be 12.2 meters long, and its weight is estimated from that. Because of overfishing, basking sharks are extremely rare, so they cannot be legally caught, causing the largest officially recorded weight to be only 5.2 tons. They are often confused for great white sharks from the surface, and that is why there are many unconfirmed sightings of great whites that are over 10 meters long. Basically, they are seeing this thing and confusing it for this thing. <laughs> Basking sharks live in cold and subtropical oceans and submerge deep to swim through the equator during the winter, so they can always enjoy the summer and the plentiful zooplankton in the oceans. Basking sharks are harmless to humans, but considering they are larger than elephants, they could definitely hurt you accidentally. But as long as you keep your distance, you will be fine. And coming in at number one is the whale shark, with a weight of 20 tons. It effortlessly takes the spot for not only the largest shark, but also the largest fish and the largest animal that is not a whale, or your mother. They reach a length of 18.8 .8 meters, making them longer than the infamous Megalodon. That's right, these animals are absolute giants, and that makes them very easy to identify with their white spots and very derby heads. Whale sharks can dive very deep in search of food, often going over a kilometer from the surface, but most of the time they stay in the epipelagic surface waters and enjoy their long lives that can last up to 150 years. Because they feed on microscopic organisms, they are not aggressive with humans. In fact, I would call them friendly. It makes me feel a little bit bad that these sharks are often killed just for their fins by illegal fishers. And what makes it even worse is that these boats are often Chinese, intruding in foreign waters just to kill endangered, gentle animals from their waters. There are many things we don't know about the whale shark, and that goes for all species on this list. We only discovered whale sharks give birth in 1996. With an animal this big, you would imagine that we would know it earlier, but I guess not. The ocean is very poorly studied. And that is it for this list. Keep in mind, I'm not a professional shark expert, so there might be some mistakes. But I did spend countless hours researching for this video and learning about sharks in general. They are one of my favorite groups of animals. 
If you want me to continue making these videos, like and subscribe, yada yada yada. I am very poor, I cannot afford making these videos if they don't get going. And I can't keep on doing this anymore. Thanks for watching everyone, see you next time.